Okay, so this will be part two, carving a wood spirit for 2021. Um, this beard hair is, you, hey, believe me, it's good enough. You can call this guy done easily. Put some more texture in the hair with the same burr and then call her done. Okay, so you see the nose sticks off the farthest from the piece. And you guys, there's lots of channels that have how to carve a wood spirit. Uh, just Carve Rob, um, Sticks and Stones, uh, Ben's Studio at the Lake. Um, so I'd say probably the best in my opinion would be um, Kevin over there at Sticks and Stones on YouTube. But uh, anyway, so let's um, hmm, let's just start off, get the worst part over with, and we'll put the uh, we'll detail the beard hairs, mustache hairs, eyebrows, and um, hair hairs, and then we'll have to switch out the burr and switch it back to do some age lines under the eyes and stuff. We still got to do nostrils and detail stuff on this guy. Okay, so once again, I'm using the Dremel 4000 with the Dremel Flex Shaft. This is an aluminum cutting burr. Okay, you get these burrs in packs like these of 10 for like $15 on Amazon. I have an Amazon store. You can follow the link below and you'll see the burrs, aluminum cutting burrs. And um, they're like 15 bucks. So what are you paying for a dollar fifty each burr? So it's a pretty good price. And these things cut um, wood like crazy. So this is the square one, and I'm going to run around and do it on edge. I'll just show you a quick example. I can choose the right pedal. Okay, you can see there the beard hairs are refined to compared to here. So you got to remember everything's blowing this way. So keep them cut. Like uh, for example, let's see um, this one here. I'm going to come up and over that ridge. See how that's coming up and over? Keep everything flowing this way. The mustache, just do them straight down. Also with the mustache, you can make them so they're coming up and over. Let me draw it on with the pen so you guys can see. So you start inside and you bring it over and it looks like the mustache is blowing over too, right? So let's do one cut here. I'll show you guys. I'll do a couple. Okay, you see that? How it's coming? Let's turn it straight now so you can see it. See how it's blowing the mustache out? We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so I'll get these done and then we'll move on to the hair. So everything's sanded down. I'll show you what I use to sand it later. So next thing we're going to do is the eyes. 
I'm not uh, a real pro at doing eyes, so I really shouldn't be doing this video. But I just take a center line across here where I think the middle of the eye should be. And, you know, people will make them look like footballs, but you put a dot here and a dot there. And that's where your inside of, like, your eye, your eye duct should be, right? Not up here. So I'm just going to draw these eyes on like this, okay? Little footballs, I guess. And I'd say try and make them both the same size. I can see this one's a little bit bigger than this one. Okay, so now what you want to do, this is what you want to do. You want to get a burr, choose your burr. I'm going to show you what burr I'm going to use. And you want to make these as round inside as you can make them round inside, okay? So there's going to be a deep cut in here, deep cut in here on a 45. And then I'm going to try and make these round inside. And then I'm going to cut under here, underneath the eyebrow, to make this look like a top eyelid, okay? So there's going to be a big cut under the eye eyebrow, and a cut here, and then that will give you your top eyelid right in here. Can you see that? Okay, so um, I'll just set up here. Okay, so you get these sets of uh, detailing metalworking burrs on Amazon too. You get 20 burrs for like 20 bucks. I suggest get them if you want to start doing good details. I got this little football one on here, the little flame burr. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start cutting, okay? And this is when you really want to take your time. that cut now let's do another one on the other side try and make them equal okay see those cuts now I'm gonna do the bottom part Okay, so now I look at my eyes. Now I want to make them look like foot footballs in here. I'm not going to do this. Actually, let's do this big cut underneath the eyebrow right now, okay? Okay, now let's round them off inside here. Like, try and make look like little edges of the balls inside there. You're always going to have one tricky spot that's hard to get to in the eye with your bit. It's oh, it's just really hard. You have to move it around. So let's punch these um, each. So you want to make it look. So let's punch deep inside each corner, okay? Let's do the other side.
Okay, you want to try and make this look as round as possible as you can inside there. Okay, so I can see right now this eye where I'm tapping is a little bit bigger than this eye. So I'm just going to stretch this eye out just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not the best at giving tutorials for eyes. Um, Kevin, his YouTube channel, Sticks and Stones, he does uh, great eyes really quick and he's a pro at it. Okay, so now let's give this guy, let's give him a, a bottom eyelid. Okay, so we'll undercut some of this wood. We'll get rid of some of this wood underneath this bottom eyelid. Okay, so now you can see that bottom eyelid square. It's got a square edge, so now let's just make it round. Turn the piece around here. Okay. So now, this top eyelid's got to hang over top of the bottom eyelid, right? Like, get pictures of eyes, guys. It would help you have a, a real good black and white picture of an eye. So let's just uh, do a cut here. Okay, see that cut I made there? Now let's feather this bottom one underneath it. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see. We're not going to give this guy any pupils. He doesn't need them. So now let's get, so now let's work on the nose. These guys, these eyes aren't that great guys, but you can see how I kind of do it. So now let's give him his nostrils here. Okay, I should probably hook up another burr to do this, but let's just do it quick. Okay, so you see how his nostrils are there? I'm going to cut on this line, then I'm going to remove some of the wood on the bridge of the nose, okay? So the nostrils stick out farther. Okay, now I'm going to remove, this, now I'm going to remove some wood here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut really deep on the side of the nose here. See where the nostril comes down? Do one big motion like this. And right beside the mustache. And the nostril, not too deep, but once you get on the flat part of the face, go really deep, okay? Now push. Stay on this side. Now push. Okay, see that? See how that really brings everything out, kind of together? Now I'm going to separate the nose from the mustache because, well, I'll just show you what I do in the corner here. Okay. So now I'm going to undercut underneath the bottom lip and down the sides of the mouth here, underneath the bottom lip, okay? Now I'm going to make a deep cut right underneath the bottom lip here, underneath the mustache. Okay, 
you see that? How it makes it kind of round now. So, ah, okay, let's um, let's um, do some uh, nostrils. I should probably hook up a bigger burr, but uh, okay, we'll do the nostrils too. Might as well just keep going. Up, I do the nostrils up and under, okay? So your nose is here. Okay, so there's my nostrils up and under. Now let's give them a look, these side nostrils a little bit of shape, just kind of round them off. Okay, so you see there, there's the eyes in, the nostrils are in, the nose is in. This is another trick I learned from Ryan Cook, professional chainsaw carver. Put a line across here and take this wood down a bit, okay? So you see how his nose is just kind of plain and boring? Let's give him a bump there so he's old and weathered, but let's switch burrs. Just hold on a second, I'm going to put a new burr in. Okay, so here's a cut saw, regular taper burr okay not very aggressive at all what i'm going to do here is just go like this cut here and then feather it out back here and feather it out here okay you see that cut mark in there now now let's feather it out What I'm doing here is I'm just running around cleaning everything up to try and make it look kind of equal, right? Okay, so here you go. Now he's got a bump on his nose. His eyes are okay. Um, his nostrils are okay. Let me fix that up a bit. Okay, I'd call it on point. 
Okay, I decided not to give these guys pupils because I think you should just try and learn how to carve the eyes just like this before you put pupils in because if pupils can get complicated because if you don't put them perfect, well, your piece can look really funny, okay? Well, maybe I should carve those in. No, I'm not gonna. So now... I got this little tiny, it comes in these uh, sets of these detail burrs, okay? This little tiny, it's like my the burr, the burr that I use for the uh, cutting the beard hairs. See, it's just a little tiny square. Okay, so I went and had and cut some little pupils in there. My uh, camera died, sorry about that. And I did some little details with uh, just that little burr that I was showing. So now let's talk about sanding, okay? This is a, called a mandrel, all right? There's a screw that screws on the end of the shaft. My friend Peter Blair makes these and sells them. If you go to the description below, if you look on the right, there's a little arrow. Hit that arrow and a whole list of my stuff will show up. So go into the description below. You'll see Peter Blair. You'll see his email. You can email him, ask, ask him how much he sells them for. For the next month or two, it's the beginning of 2021. He will include a carving fusion sticker with these. Okay, so this is emery cloth. I get this roll like this. Emery cloth is a cloth back sandpaper. This is really fine grip for this soft wood. It's pine. So I rip them in. I just go like this, right? I rip them into little squares. And then I... Sorry, I get frustrated. Okay, so they're in little squares. And I push it through the, the screw, through the square. Okay, so I do four, about four at a time. Push it through and I always do one reverse, okay? So these ones are forward and I put this one reverse. Then you put it on there. Tighten it up with a screwdriver and then you can start sanding. Be very gentle when you're sanding this soft wood. You don't want to lose all your detail you did. Okay, so here's it on another, dr number, another Dremel flux shaft and run it really slowly. Just, light, just lightly on the piece. Okay, so I'll get that done. And then uh, at this point, I signed it. I put a hole in the back to uh, hang it on a wall. Make sure you sign your pieces. Okay. I'll be back and let's put let's put a finish on it. Okay, so now this is the point we'll look at our carving and say, okay, well, it's pretty well done. I'm not a huge fan of this piece of wood. It's soft. It's beautiful wood to carve, but it's edge grain. You see the bumps there? And the lines come down this way, right? I like carving myself. I like carving face grain, but this is edge grain, this guy. So... I got this, um, this is something that I like to do. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want. You can use oil, you could use stain, but if you use stain on a piece like this, if everything's not perfectly sanded the same way, all the way around, you're gonna get some shiny spots. You're gonna get some dull spots, right? This poly shade is a protector too, right? It's poly and it has a color in it. It comes in all different sorts of colors, right? So I'm gonna do this whole thing, the poly shade, and then I'm going to wipe it off, and then I'm going to hit it with my flap center again to get the high points. It's just a typical thing I always do, right? My wood spirits improve every year, so I need to make a new video for how to every year, right? So, okay, so let's get this uh, pulley shade on here. Okay, so I have it on this uh, piece of paper just to protect my table from getting all dirty. I'm trying to save it as long as I can. Let's get the can opened up. You guys, when this poly shade, this is the black, the color goes to the bottom sometimes, right? This is a pretty fresh can, but give it a good mix up too. And you should wear gloves because this stuff's hard to get off your hands, but hypocrite, I don't have any gloves here. So let's just wipe it on. This wood is very porous. It's just, look how fast it's sucking in that poly shade. It's almost dry there. Okay. So I'm going to get this uh, poly shade on. Like right now you think, oh wow, it looks so black. 
But when I show you what I do with my flap sander after, you'll bring the highlights out. Yeah, this wood is very porous. That means it just sucks the, the poly shade in like nothing. Look, look at this part here. It's already dry. It's already dull. So that's what I'm talking about. When you use just regular stains, you'll get some shiny spots where you sanded it better and then some dull spots. This doesn't, this poly shade doesn't do that. Well, right now it will, but not when I'm done. So let's get this all on. I'll get it wiped off and I'll hit it with my flap sander. Okay, so all the poly shades on there. So normally I wipe it off, but there's no sense because this wood's so porous, it's just gonna suck all this stuff. In. Now I got my little flap sander again, okay? It's better if these things are dull, but this is 240 grit, so it's not aggressive and super soft. Now I'm gonna go around and lightly hit the high spots. You can see how just boring it looks right now, right? Okay, so I'll get this done and I'll be back. Another thing I do too is I always keep my brush around because if I sand off too much in a certain area, I can always come back and touch it up, right? Okay, so I'll finish this and then I'll be back. Okay, so you've come this far. Now you can see the high point. It's hard to see on the video, but trust me, there's high points and low points. So since you're having so much fun and you're still here with me, carving the wood spirit, Let's uh, step it up a notch. I got this silver wax paste. It comes from uh, Michael's where I get this. You got to be super careful when you use this stuff, guys, because it can go on way too thick, right? So I just got a fresh brush here. See? And just don't put too much on your brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe some off on the paper. And it's called dry brushing. We're just going to kind of dry brush a bit on here just to make it look a bit metallic. This is something that I've been doing lately a bit. It, it comes in gold color too. Like be very, like I said, it, it um, have barely any on your brush. See, I'm still got some on my brush and it's still wiping off onto here. I think it's finished. I'd call her done. Get some in the bottom lip so it kind of gets some in the eyes there. So there we go. There's how to carve a wood spirit carving fusion style 2019. Here's a better look at it so you can see the Metallica kind of metallic finish on it. See, even a little bit too much. But you guys can see that grain. See those bumps going up and down? Or right here you can see them. That's why I don't like carving edge grain. Because you get that effect, right? But it looks neat. I'm happy with this little guy. Anyways, hope you're all good. And um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Sign your pieces. And there will be tons more carving fusion videos. Carving stuff like this. And uh, I guess I should give it some more dye down there. Just have fun what you're doing.